Hey everyone, how are y'all? It's Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts. So today, we have another fake bake. As promised, we're gonna be making a blueberry pie. I went to show my husband, I said, you want some blueberry pie? I know it's fake. <laughs> he didn't want to get his hopes up. So anyway, he said he wanted to stick his finger in it. So, let's see. I forgot to get out my paper. So what you'll need is a pie pan. Now this is packing paper that probably came in a Hobby Lobby order. And I save it um, <clears throat> excuse me for different crafts. And um, whether I'm using it to paint on or I need it to be using it to paint on um, or whatever. But I wadded me some up in this pan and I glued it to the bottom. And this is, um, I think I ordered this from Craft, from um, Hobby Lobby. And it is just, uh, it's the name of the paint is great, actually. So, I painted the paper so that if you see through it, <clears throat> um, you're not gonna really notice that you're seeing through to paper. Okay, so pie pan, paper, we paint the paper, and I did that because to sit here and wait 30 minutes for it to dry would not be good. So, <clears throat> and then the next step I went ahead and done also, but I got these clusters of small grapes um, at Hobby Lobby. They're $4.99 for a cluster and it takes two clusters per pie. I got them when they were 50% off. So you can get two for $5. Um, and it's got a good many of grapes on it and I sit here and pluck the ball off because it takes you a few minutes to do that. So when you get them all off, you're gonna fill your pan and I just try to do some of the steps that, you know, take a few minutes, but it's kind of just self-explanatory. Um, so we're covering our um, pie with the grapes. Now, they're grapes, but we're pretending that they're our blueberries. Okay. So, right up here where it's got the, the paper, where it's kind of sticking up and there's no uh, grapes on there, I'll put a little bit of glue and kind of make it where the, the grapes come over on there. I don't know why, but my glue gun sometimes, when it knows that I'm on a video, it wants to act up. So there's not a whole lot of these that I have to go around and glue, but there's just a few little spots where the paper gets high <clears throat> and there's no grapes on there. Okay. That one's gonna stick. And we may have to even Put a few more on here. On this one, I don't think I glued, but maybe two or three. So there's not a whole lot. Just when you see a, a bare spot.
Okay, so now we have our pie pan that is full of grapes that we're gonna call blueberries, okay? So, so far we've just had our pie pan, we put our packing paper in there, glued it to the bottom, I took the purple paint, painted the paper, and I painted around the edge of the inside. If you could see the, the pan, I painted the inside of the pan. I plucked all the grapes off of two um, branches. And now we've put those in there. And now, for the fun part. This is the step that I really, I mean, I couldn't go no further without y'all not seeing what I was doing, so. We're gonna pick up and go from there. All right. I have, um, y'all, Mama, I have been trying to think for the last few minutes what this material's called. I know what it's called. I'm having one of those sometimes moments where you you remember sometimes, sometimes you don't. And this is one of those moments. But it's this um, beige um, cotton material that I buy at Walmart, um, Hobby Lobby, all the time. And I can't think of what it's called now. I'm just having one of those brain moments. <clears throat> so, anyway, I'm going to start on one side of my pan. That is not pushing through. So, we're going to go from left to right. And then we'll go either top to bottom or bottom to top, whichever. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to go a little extra longer out here past the pie pan. Make sure y'all see what I'm doing here. I'm going to go... Um, five strips across. These are about two thirds of an inch wide. Um, I'm not measuring how long, I'm just getting them further over than, than what I need, really. Now I'm going to come back, kind of look how I'm spacing them, and then I'm going to glue one side down. All right, little berry, you gotta get over. It's not the time for my glue gun to be acting up. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little glue up under there. Just going to push that glue stick through there. Stick your finger in the glue. It's a little warm. All right. Okay. 
If you got some little berries that want to stick out, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so now we've got five little strips. Now we're going to need five more strips. So I'm going to turn this from the bottom and now I'm going to go across again. Well, let's see. did not cut enough of this. <clears throat> and I'm going to have to cut a little bit more. Because we're making a homemade pie shell and topping, pie topping. going to glue all my strips on one side just like we did the other ones and y'all years ago we're not going to talk about how many years ago, but when I was a very young girl, let's say early teenage years, we made these and we made them for the topping we uh, used felt and for the inside we used potpourri is what we used. And so they would smell really good in your kitchen. Um, but that was not yesterday. So all right, so we're gonna um, fold all these back and then we're gonna take the first strip and we're gonna go every other one and fold back. There went one of my blueberries. Okay, so then we're gonna bring this over here and I'm gonna glue it down. <clears throat> and then we're gonna take these two back up and over. Then we're gonna go to the next one and because we had these two brought back the first time, we're going to do these three. So every other one is going to be every other row. So, does that make sense? Or did I just confuse myself and everybody else? Okay, so this one will lay these two down, or these three down. We're weaving. That's what we're doing. We are weaving. Okay. 
So, just speed this one back and this one back. these back over and now we'll pull these three back and we'll lay these back over I cut these strips just a tiny bit smaller than those I just want to see more of the blueberries and we'll fold this one Sounds like thunder outside. So now I'm going to glue this one down. And now we're going to fold these two back over. Now we've gotten, well this one I didn't glue down when I brought it over. So we've gotten all these glued down. I'm going to trim the edges of our material. Okay. Now I'm going to pull these and glue them. Y'all see, this is really not hard. A little time um, consuming. But other than that, really easy. them just snug. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to trim these. You don't have to worry about getting them perfect because they're going to be hid anyway. All right, so I have one strip left. That's not enough. So let me cut one more strip. My material is about 36, well, it's 18 inches. So it's 36 inches because it's folded in half. So it's not real wide. I'm not measuring. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And it's about two thirds of an inch wide and I'm sure it's got some little dips and all in it um, okay now I'll ruffle this one real good it's got some light little tight ruffles see how pretty that looks it looks real and the grapes I mean they look like blueberries so, I was kind of impressed. I 
was a little impressed. All right, I'm gonna get that um, zigzag edge off of there. I really wish that my glue gun was not acting up. This takes a few minutes. Um, I'm gonna see, I may not, I'm gonna try. And maybe not put as many small ruffles on this one and see what it looks like. And what I'm doing, I'm just making like little pleats. Going all the way around. Gonna be a run to find me a glue gun here very quickly. See, it is not pushing, it's not pulling my hot glue through there. Hunting me a new one. So all I'm doing is putting hot glue around the edge of the pie pan. See, as I go around, I'm just kind of wrinkling it up. <clears throat> You know, when you make a homemade um, pie crust, you know how you mash it down on the edges and because we want it to look, you know, real. It's working again. Yay! It got a hold of my my berry. Get back in there. Got too excited. My glue gun worked. I really need to get me a backup because this one's probably going to go out soon. Not the heating of it, but it doesn't want to grab the glue stick and pull it through. I don't know, maybe it was a, a thin glue stick. and just couldn't grab it, I don't know. When I start my new um, piece of material, I am folding it on the edge so that it's not just a raw edge on there. Moving right along. 
We're about, I guess about two thirds the way around. <clears throat> okay. We're just pleating, making little gathers as we go around. So a lot different from how we made these a long time ago. Because we would use the little strips of felt on the top potpourri in the middle so it didn't look like a real pie not as real as these but they smell good and y'all that was thirty five years ago I got glue strings everywhere. Okay, we have one step left and we'll be finished with our pie. It's looking amazing. So now would be the time we would put it in the oven and get it brown. You know, we would have to um, cook it here. So let's do some grunging. And I just got finished with that one, so my brush is still in the water. And if you've been around and watched very many of my videos, you will probably know what we're fixing to do when we grunge it up. Some strings. We're gonna use some Mod Podge and it doesn't matter. This is gloss, but you can use a, a matte finish or gloss, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I have one that is what I call clean Mod Podge. And then I have one that is Dirty Mod Podge. Because this is cinnamon, just regular kitchen cinnamon. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in my Mod Podge. And it's my Dirty Mod Podge, so It's the Mod Podge that I designate for my grunging. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting a, a pretty thick layer of Mod Podge on some of my little strips. I usually sprinkle, but I don't want this all over every all over my berries and all so I'm just gonna dip my brush into the cinnamon and then where I have put the Mod Podge I'm putting the cinnamon I'm brushing it on there this is going to give it that look of you know, that it's been in the oven and it's browned it. <coughs> mm, excuse me, y'all. I have some allergies going on. 
so the the sneezing and the coughing and the all the things it's not contagious thank goodness just a little tickle in the throat and a, a sneeze and all those little things We're dipping in our cinnamon. So, this is another one of our fake bakes. And we'll be moving on to some more fake bakes. You know, we got to get all ready for um, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And... What better way than to, you know, have some fake bakes on display for some of your decor. I honestly just love them. And they're getting very popular. They're, people are selling them on Etsy. And they're selling them on... Um, Amazon and they're quite costly which they take um, they take some time to do and depending on what you're doing depends on how costly it honestly can get and how much time they take Now that one's got a little. I don't mind if the Mod Podge gets on there because the Mod Podge is going to dry and it's not going to see it. It dries clear, but I don't want the cinnamon on my blueberries because they just wouldn't look good. So this part of it is probably the most time consuming. It does take a few minutes um, to get the Mod Podge on all the little strips of the material and then get your cinnamon on there. And Mod Podge is gonna, you know, make the material dry a little stiff but as you see on the cake plate there how realistic it really looks and y'all I love that little cake plate I've had it for years <clears throat> I got it from um, I think it was Ross um it's just a white glass cake plate, but the ribbon, you can uh, change out the ribbons on it. So, you know, if you was having a birthday party or if you was having, you know, your Christmas party or Thanksgiving, whatever, you can change out the ribbon on that little cake plate to match whatever occasion that you know you're celebrating so I just kind of like it it was in the cabinet and I didn't change the ribbon it had yellow in it so that's yellow is what it will stay I just grabbed it I said I need something to display my my beautiful homemade blueberry pie on. so I got it out of the cabinet. And that's that. So, I 
I love iced coffee. I don't like the price of iced coffee. So I ordered me some iced coffee to the cold brew off of Amazon. And today when we went to the grocery store, I got me some almond milk. And so I'm going to be trying me probably some iced coffee tomorrow because, you know, it's already late tonight when I'm making this video. I really don't want to be up all night due to drinking coffee at 10, 11 o'clock. So tomorrow, I think I'm going to try. I'll have to let y'all know. Y'all let me know. Do y'all make homemade iced coffee? I know we have like a, a little place here in town, but I'm just not all about paying no five, six dollars for no frappe or, no. Mm, uh, do y'all know how many craft supplies I could buy with five, six dollars? Yeah. It ain't gonna be on no drink when I can make it at home. And I have skinny syrups if I need to add any flavors to it. Skinny syrups have zero sugars. So, I'm thinking tomorrow I'm going to... be experimenting making me some iced coffee to let y'all know how that turns out anybody got any good tips for me y'all just feel free to share them some good tips now don't put me off on a wild goose chase um, so <clears throat> Tell me if y'all are going to try this or not. If you like fake bakes. And if you would try this for a craft. Would you display it in your home um, for Christmas time or around the holidays? I've told y'all before uh, when I make the other fake bakes my kids love to try to get get up on the uh, you know get up on each other see who can be first with the fake bakes to to trick each other it's a lot of fun you know they're about the 30 age in that 30 age group Our boys will be next month. One son will turn 28. One will turn 30. Uh, and then in December, we have another one that will turn 31. So, they try to be the first to get each other with the fake bakes. 
and even the girlfriends get involved. So it's just a little fun, you know. It's kind of getting gooky on my brush, so. So yeah, you know, they're not young kids, but they like to have fun with the fake bakes. So, you know, it could be something that's adds a little fun at your Christmas party or celebration or your get together, family get together at Thanksgiving or to have fun with the fake bags and trick each other. So see, it's looking like it's coming out of the oven. It's getting that brown look. And what I'm doing is just painting my Mod Podge on and putting my cinnamon on top. Just mixing it up with that Mod Podge. So I'm almost finished with all the top and then we'll just go around on the edges. That goes a little bit quicker. But a couple of hours from start to finish with your, you know, paint drying and um, getting your grapes taken off of the clusters and everything glued in and material cut and hot glued down and get your Mod Podge done and your cinnamon on and it's really caking up because I've used it a lot tonight. It needs washing. But it's, it's something that is, this one is really simple, and I think anybody could do it, because it's, it's just that simple. No special techniques or anything. And the, um, Mod Podge and Cinnamon, it's nothing, you know, special on it. May have to get me another brush, though. This one is taking up really bad. It needs cleaning. Okay, so we have all the, the middle done. Now all we're gonna do is go around the edges. And this is a little quicker, I think. This is um, not as tedious. Cause you're just brushing on the edges there in the center you're trying not to get on all the the berries and the try not to get you know a ton of glue in there 
so the edging goes a little bit quicker. So maybe this is not too long for y'all. And if you want to fast forward, you can to see the, the end result of this one. But just for the ones that like to see the step-by-step -step tutorials, that's why I do them. So, you see I'm going back over a little bit of it in spots to get it thicker, to get it to turn darker. So if you put your Mod Podge on and then you put your cinnamon, you want it a little bit darker, just go back over it with some more cinnamon. If it's not sticking enough, add a little bit of um, Mod Podge back on it. It's not gonna hurt it, you can't mess it up. we're almost halfway around a little over halfway so the, the edging does not take as long I'm just getting it and brushing it on there We're here at the home stretch, and we have a pie made tonight. Or it's tonight when I'm filming this. It may be daytime when you're watching it, but Now it's got a few little strands and what I did on that one after you know it, I got everything on there I just went around with my scissors and just kind of cleaned it up a little bit I wanted a little bit of fray look um, y'all I like it and see if you got spots that are not dark enough for you just get you some Mod Podge and some more cinnamon and brush over it in spots that are a little bit light. So you can control how light and how dark. So now Once it's got a little, you know, some little long ones, I'm just trimming them off. You'll have to clean your scissors after this because you're going to have Mod Podge. And they'll get sticky. So. have a baby wipe that I'll clean my scissors off with. I bought the big thing of Mod Podge because I really use a lot of it. Look how pretty. Now, this is the first one I did. And I like them both. This one shows a little bit more of the berries of the, um, what well, we know that's true grapes, but. And you can move some around if you want to. Um, I think I really do like 
you know, being able to see, um, see through there because it really does look like blueberries. Isn't that cute? I just love it. So, I got a little bit. Leave it to me to close everything up and I see a, an open spot. Right there. And then I'm going to have to clean up that berry. I'm happy with it. I like it. I hope y'all like this tutorial um, on how to make a fake bake blueberry pie. I think it's adorable. I will be using it in my decoration for this holiday season, for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. We will have up our um, Blueberry pies. What else have we made? Um, our fake baked bread. I'll have those out here. And, of course, I have my uh, fake baked apples. And we're going to be making some red ones. I will show y'all how we did the, um, the green ones. So I'll be showing you, this has got frosting and, and chocolate drizzle and nuts. So we'll be making some of these with our uh, red apples. We're gonna be making, this is a small cake. I'm gonna be making some larger cakes. That's got the chocolate drizzle and the, the nuts and all on it. So yeah, we got and I got cupcakes, you know, the other night when we spray foamed to make our bread. So we've got um, a good bit of fake bakes coming up. So yeah, and we're we'll do. I'm gonna uh, dabble in a little bit of you know Christmas and fall and all that in the months and in the middle of all the fake bakes and all the things. Okay, we're just gonna keep it interesting and keep it fun and different and so we don't get bored with just one thing we'll be doing um, a little bit of everything so if you're a painter or mess with Mod Podge very much baby wipes are wonderful because they'll get the the sticky glue off of your fingers and it'll take the paint off too so especially that acrylic paint and that um, Waverly chalk paint, um, it cleans up really good. So, I appreciate y'all watching. Thank y'all for being here. And if you don't mind sharing this video with your friends and family or whoever you think that might would like to watch. Um, and let's grow this page and um, I want to get some things together so that um, I can do a big giveaway um, when we get to um, 10,000 subscribers, okay? So I've got to get my studying done and and see how to, to get that so I have a platform for y'all to um, enter your name in that. So I've got that trying to go on as well so y'all share this um video and any other videos that y'all like and y'all think that your friends or family would like it i would appreciate that so much um remember i love you all and until next time y'all get to crafting make something pretty and invite your friends tell them we're having a party over here Thank y'all. I appreciate you more than you know. 
And until next time, y'all get to making something pretty. Let me know if you like the fake bakes because they're fun and they're fun. And, you know, you can have them this year, next year. You can use them over and over and, you know, keep them out year-round. So, yeah. Thank y'all. I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye, y'all.